How's it going everyone, Shifty here and today I've got for you an easy guide on how to complete the K1 Logistics Lost Sector on Legend Difficulty. When I say it's an easy guide it means that I'm using a loadout that is easily obtainable and I don't use things like War Mind Cell or Charged with Light Mods. In addition to a simple loadout I also include live commentary. Now, none of the Lost Sectors on the Moon are incredibly fast to farm, but if they come up in the rotation and you're bored and you want to farm some exotics, maybe this guide will help you out. Today, the K1 Logistics Lost Sector is dropping exotic chest armor. Anyway, before I get into the video, if you end up enjoying it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, for subclass, I would use one that has a super that does decent damage and can be used at long range. I used Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, but you could use Top Tree or you could use Missile Titan. On a Hunter, you could use Golden Gun. On a Warlock, you could use Nova Bomb or Dawnblade or anything like that. Your super is primarily going to be used for doing some damage to the boss. One thing to keep in mind is Void Damage is increased by 50% in this Legend Lost Sector, so Nova Bomb would probably be a great choice for Warlocks. As for weapons, I went with a Long Shadow Sniper Rifle. This is found in the World Loot Pool. Then I'm using Tiku's Divination, which is on the Season Pass, both on the free and paid track. And I'm using the Bad Omens Void Rocket Launcher. You can purchase one of these directly from the Drifter if you don't have one. This benefits from that 50% Void Damage Boost. As for armor mods, I have the necessary anti-champion mods, then I have ammo mods for my rocket launcher and sniper rifle. Additionally, I did include one void damage resistance mod. This is to help reduce the impact of that void damage increase. Alright, that's it for my loadout in this one, let's get right into it. Alright, overall this legend lost sector isn't too bad to complete. Tiku's divination is a great weapon for this one. Alright, so on the left side there's going to be a couple invisible enemies that we need to take care of. Then I'm going to push up here to this box, and I'm going to kill some enemies on the right side. So I didn't have arc damage for that captain, but since void damage is boosted, a void rocket does take it out. Try to finish off the rest of the enemies on the right side there, and then focus on the barrier champion if possible. Looks like those vandals backed up a little bit. So I'm going to just stick down here and try to take out some of these vandals. Alright, I'll take all three of them out with Tiku's Divination. Then we got some solar shielded shanks here. Tiku should make quick work of those as well. Then just make sure you get these Exploder Shanks before they get to you. From there we're going to take out some more enemies in the back. Try not to get sniped here. We'll wait till that Vandal comes forward. Once you've cleared most of the enemies up top in the back, we can go for the Barrier Champion. I cannot hit a crit, I guess. So we should have an overload captain over here, and there might be a drag or two as well. This hallway shouldn't be too bad to clear. 
Take out a couple of these wretches up here. That one's stuck in a box. There is an overload champion, so you do need to be a little bit careful. Then right as we round the corner, there will be three wretches. And now we're at the boss fight. Some enemies will spawn on the right side here, so you can be ready for that. Let's see if I can get this barrier before it gets to the front here. That worked pretty well. That doesn't always work. Sometimes you have to fight it when it's up front here. Peek out, Greg. After you've killed enough enemies in the barrier champion, some more enemies will spawn in the back. Solar shielded shanks. Take out both of the nightmares here. If I don't die. The shield on the boss should be down now. your super then from there you can grab the chest 